one with numbers so in this chapter we'll be learning what are odd numbers what are even numbers okay and then we'll also see how to compare numbers okay then we'll see what comes before a number what comes after a number and what comes between two numbers okay so we'll also be learning how to uh, arrange numbers in ascending order and descending order and many other things okay so first we'll start with learning what are even numbers and what are odd numbers okay okay so first of all we'll see what are even numbers so even numbers are those numbers that always end with a digit of 0 2 4 6 and 8 okay so they always end with the digits 0 2 4 6 8 so now what do you see here now 2 means now if you take 2 uh, a pair of shoes okay so there are 2 shoes in a one pair correct and in 2 pairs there will be 4 shoes right so these are all together right they have a friend so whenever a number has a friend or when there are two things together then they are called even numbers okay so when you are making a group if someone is left out then that will be odd okay so even numbers are numbers which always end with a digit 0 2 4 6 or 8 okay then we have odd numbers what are odd numbers odd numbers always end with a digit of 1 3 5 7 or 9 so whenever a number is ending with a digit 1 3 5 7 or 9 then it is called an odd number okay so we'll see some activities on odd and even numbers so here is the number of triangles even or odd so they are asking if the number of triangles is even or odd so let's see let's count the number of triangles first so here i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 triangles so there are total how many triangles total there are 8 triangles and we know that 8 is an even number correct so 8 is even so the number of triangles here are even okay so no, it's not necessary that number should only end in 0 2 4 6 or 8 but the numbers can also be 2 4 6 and 8 okay so 2 4 6 8 12 14 16 these are all even numbers so here look at the number in each box and select the correct answer that is if it is odd or if it is even now here the first number is 17 now 17 is ending with the digit 7 so we know that whenever a digit ends with 7 then the number is called as an odd number correct so 17 is an odd number now here we have the number 10 now when we know we know that when a number ends with 0 then it is called as an even number so here 10 is an even number okay 10 is an even number now so here they, they have asked if they are odd or even so how many socks are there in the first picture we have 1 2 3 we know that 3 is an odd number correct so we'll select odd for this then here how many we have 1 and 2 now even numbers have a friend i told you all no even numbers have a friend so this has a friend it means there are two so it is an even number okay it's an even number now if you see here these socks in the first image so if this one sock has this one sock as a friend but then this will be left alone correct so it does not have a friend so it is odd correct so here they have told classify the numbers into even or odd so they have given some numbers we have to write them as in even numbers or odd numbers so 15 what number is 15 now it is ending with 5 and 5 is an odd number correct 
so 15 is also an odd number so we'll write 15 here under odd numbers next we have 24 now 24 is ending with the digit 4 and we know that when a number ends with 4 then uh, it is called an even number so 24 comes under even number and then we have 12 now 12 number is ending in 2 so that is also an even number so 12 is an even number. even number so we'll write it under 12 okay so 15 was there here correct so here we had 24 and 12 next 33 what about 33 now 33 is ending with 3 right so it means that 3 is an odd number so 33 is also an odd number so we'll write it under odd numbers and then we have 0 so now 0 is an even number so we'll write here it write it under even numbers and 11 11 now the number is ending in 1 so it is an even number sorry odd number okay 11 is an odd number so this is what is even numbers and odd numbers now let's see what's there in your textbook on even numbers and odd numbers so chapter name is fun with numbers page number 122 so first even numbers look at the shoes below so one pair of shoes there are two shoes correct then two pairs of shoes there are four shoes three pairs of shoes there are six shoes four pair of shoes there are eight shoes and five pairs of shoes there are ten shoes so the numbers 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 and so on are called even numbers so they can be made into pairs or they can have friends so whenever they can be made into pairs then they are called as even numbers okay then odd numbers so here we have one glove so it does not make a pair now if you have wear on you have only one glove you will wear it in one hand but what about the other hand correct so it is not one pair now three now three gloves it makes one pair but one glove is left over so this one glove does not have a friend here same way fly five gloves two pairs of gloves you five gloves make two pairs of gloves but one is left over again okay so seven gloves has three pairs of gloves but one is left over and nine gloves have four pairs of gloves and one will be left over so the numbers one three five the numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, so on are called as odd numbers. Okay, so when we make odd numbers into pairs, one is al al always left over. Okay, so these are odd numbers. So here they have told count the stars, make pairs of them and write whether the set is odd okay, or even. So, you have to write if the set is odd or even. So, one has been done here. So, we have how many pairs here? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 pairs. But here, one star is left over. Correct. And how many stars are there in total? There are total 15 stars. Correct. Since one is left over, it is an odd number. Alright. So, now let's count here. So, first we'll make pairs of 2 so this is one pair then we have two and this is one pair okay so you have to keep making pairs like this of the stars Okay, now all stars are in pairs. There are no stars left over. So, it means that it's an, so it's even. So, let's count how many stars are there now. So, we have 2. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 
correct so how many stars are there there are 18 stars so we'll write 18 here and then we'll write even okay so even because there is no star left over it means it is an even number okay then next here let's make another pair now okay so again we'll make pairs so this is one pair this is two this is three four five and six so we could make pairs with all the stars correct and there are no stars left over so how many stars are there when you count you'll find that there are a total of 12 stars and the number is even correct since there is no left over it means that it is even Okay, so it is even. So we have 12 stars here and there is no left over. So it is even number. Okay, so let's do the next one now. So we have 1. Okay, then 2. 3. 4, this is 5, 6, 7, then 8, ok, so 8, Okay, so how many pairs we'll have? We'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 pairs. So here we'll have 10 pairs and 1 star will be left over at the end. Correct. So how many uh, stars are there? There are total 21 stars. So this is odd. Okay, it is odd. So, the number of uh, stars here are odd. Okay, so same way you do the last two questions over here. Okay, you have to do the last two questions for homework and find if there are odd stars or even number of stars. Now, we will do before and after. So, before and after. So, what is the meaning of before? So, here I have two numbers, 1 and 2. So we have already learned this so we'll just revise once again what is the meaning of before and after. So in between these two numbers the number which comes first okay 1 comes first then 2 right so here 1 comes before 2 okay so 1 comes before 2 so let's see so here we have 3 so what number comes before 3? So, just before 3, the number that comes is 2. Okay. Now, we have 6. What is the number that comes before 6? So, here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, just uh, before five here, 6 here, we have 5. Correct. So, before 6, we have 5. Then, what is the meaning of after? Now, here I have two numbers, 3 and 4. Correct. I have two numbers, 3 and 4. So, which is the number that comes second here? 4 comes second. 3 comes first and then 4 comes. It means that 4 comes after 3. Okay, the number 4 comes after 3. So, guess the numbers. Now, 5. What number comes after 5? So, if you look at the numbers above, we see that after 5, we have the number 6. Correct? So, after 5, we have the number 6. Same way here, after 7. What is the number after 7? After 7, if you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, after 7, we have 8. Alright, so this is the meaning of before and 
after so before and after page number 125 in your textbooks okay so here they have told write the numbers that comes before each of the given numbers one has been done for you okay so here we have 9 and 10 so 9 comes just before 10 correct so next one we have 54 so what's the number that comes just before 54 just before 54 as we have seen in the last chapter the number before 54 is 53 so write 53 in this star and then you can color that star okay so here we have 27 they have given one number as 27 so what is the number that comes just before 27 just before 27 we have 26 okay so we'll write 26 over here then here we have 81 so what's the number that comes before 81 before 81 we have 80 so 8080 okay so you can color these stars next question write the numbers that come after each of the given numbers one has been done for you so here we have 64 and 65 so 65 comes after 64 okay so now 29 is given so what's the number that comes after 29 it is 30 3030 okay then we have 15 what number comes after 15 16 1 6 16 and then 58 is there so what's the number that comes after 58 it is 59 all right so this is before and after next fill in the missing numbers one has been done for you so here 59 60 61 okay so you have to see what number comes either before or after and then write the numbers so here we have 77 then 79 so what's the number after 77 and just before 79 so what comes after 77 78 so 78 comes after 77 and before 79 then So let's write once again. So, so after 77 we have 78. Okay. And before 79 we have 78. Okay. So 23 and 25. So what number comes in between 23 and 25 or just after 23 and before 25. So it is 24. Okay. It is 24. Then we have 88 here and then we have 90 so what's the number that comes just before just after 88 and just before 90 it is 89 so 88 89 90 all right now same way you can do the last two also for your homework see what number comes after 65 before 67 and number that comes after 19 and before 21 okay so you can fill these and then you can color the balloons also Alright, so this was uh, before and after and we saw what are odd numbers and even numbers. Right, so in the last, next class we will see what is greater than and less than and ascending and descending order. Alright, I will see you all in the next class students. Thank you.